Hello, guys and gals, it's me, Nuxtaku, and welcome to a new episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. With me today <laughs> is my very sick, hopefully not dying co-host, Mudahar. Yeah, woo! Yeah. <laughs> we also have the legendary Pavil here. Yes, sir. And he gave me coronavirus. Yes, true story. This is yeah. He mailed <laughs> it to him. I had it two weeks ago. He sent me like a. He sent me like a. Oh my god! It's my turn Houston. next. Oh my god! Yeah. yeah, biological warfare. Yeah, I was in my Houston Airbnb and I got this big like letter <laughs> from Oompa, like a postcard that said "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> it was wet. It was really wet. <laughs> Anyways, Anyways, our lovely our guest. guest this week is Socks for One. Hey, hey, we got the Gibby shirt on. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Gibby. Sure. I like that. That's that's the first time we had a guest on with like actual fashion sense. Oh, thank you, <laughs> bro. Speaking of fashion sense, socks. How have you not made merch where you sell single socks, like one sock? That's actually a good question. Um, you know, I good socks are actually hard to find. Um, I don't know any like really good merch companies that would sell like really nice socks. No, 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 I mean like a single sock. Like they order and it comes oh, as just, just one, one sock. Your channel's yeah, name just is socks like for one. one. You get a sock. Gray tube sock. Yes. No, but you can't sell because it's socks. So clearly there's a plural in there. Like you can't socks for one. Yeah. True, it's a pair. Yeah, yeah. you have yeah. to True. order them True. individually. Two orders of socks <laughs> for a pair. Dude, you could like hit your, a market. Uh, you could like sell like <laughs> a sock for the price of a pair. That's, that's like smart. fucking that's 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 doubling it. your income. That's right marketing. That's marketing. Now is. Is Socks your God-given name? Yeah, from birth, I came out of the womb, and they were like, Socks for one. <laughs> <Me. Wow, laughs> there, there wasn't no womb in that situation. You're engineered <laughs> in a lab. It came out of the laundry room. <laughs> oh, shit. So tell us about some of your content, Socks. Enlighten us. I'm most known for, like, Minecraft and Among Us. Uh, Let's go. Socks for one. Hey. <laughs> no R words this um, episode, gamers. We're safe. Let's go. You can. That's us. That that audience. Oof, yeah, you get, <laughs> yeah, you'll get fucking cannibalized. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I, I I don't do Among Us content anymore. I mean that game is more than dead. I kind of switched back over to Minecraft. Okay, that game's deader than me in a week. You're right. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Um. So I I, I kind of uh, I switched back to Minecraft and just because I. I honestly, I like the game. It's fun. It, yeah. It's it's good to make content on. There's like so much you can do with it, and you know, if I if you enjoy it, then why not? I have another. I have a couple other channels. I do a reaction channel. Um, that does pretty well. We do a animation channel as well. Uh, I like telling stories, and then I get someone to draw it out and stuff. And if you're that's really wanting to cool. do a content dip. factory, yeah, <laughs> he, yeah, he, he creates Just a lot of content. Mis- Mr. Beast 2.0. And if, if you were really smart, your reaction channel will react to your animations on your animation channel. Right? Yeah, that's you, next you have level. like, you have like, <laughs> yeah, you don't have like inter inter like you know channel shit going on. Well, you like start beef with yourself. Well, this is why I like Minecraft. Like, there's so many Minecraft YouTubers have like different like styles. Like they cover like it's always outlandish shit. But you know, you know what I use Minecraft for, and I swear to God, it's to test out the computer build that I. I have that's it like yeah. i literally use minecraft as a benchmark like i set that shit to the highest settings possible mm-hmm. i like get those ray tracing shaders, yeah, shaders. So it looks like re- exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. just to test like the computer mm-hmm. that i have that's about it like it used to be like all the this is why i hate about like tech channels online it's always the same three fucking games that they use to test their mm-hmm. build mm-hmm. it's like the benchmark of firmark yeah exactly it's like <laughs> it's the same thing i'm like no nah, you guys yeah. gonna use minecraft you guys have to use like the shitty you indie game. play like the shitty indie games on steam that are like so unoptimized yeah, you got to use them to benchmark a computer no man's sky be... oh man dude that game... is that game good now oh, i that love game that game is good, yeah. it's good now it's fucking good it's not even yeah. close to the same game that came out oh, like no. this is why i no, love it's like it's great i love buying the disc versions of these games because like you can always load up the 1.0 so it's not like they can gaslight you a year down the road and be mm. like oh no the game was always this good i'm like no 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 chief mm-hmm. this game was dog shit the, when it, it was the out. mandela it effect it was, it was actually amazing all along <laughs> dude yeah i remember i remember watching jack Septicai play it and downloading it and being like this is gonna be so much fun <laughs> and then i played it for like an hour and then was fucking bored and i'd been waiting for the game for almost a year and then that fucking guy the like the uh, the Irish guy who made it John or whatever, he's like, yes, there'll be multiplayer. Bro, what is that Irish accent you're doing? <laughs> what is that? A Jack I'm, just, I'm doing an impression of him. I believe he's Irish. <laughs> you know who, like, the most neutral YouTuber there is to watch for that kind of shit? It's the Rad Brad. Every time I've watched True. his videos, it's not, he's never hated a game. He's never been, like, negative. 
It's like mm-hmm. he could play the shittiest game in the world and be like, you know, guys, this has some positive <laughs> merits to it. Cyberpunk 2077 isn't all bad. It's kind of yeah. there. Yeah, that's a game that's getting a patch in like a month, and I'm not even that like hyped for it. It's like, too it. late. It's yeah, way, way too, too late. You, you go onto the Reddit board, and it's still people like, I don't really think we need police chases in a game that takes place in a city and you do crime. That would be too much like Grand Theft Auto. And I'm like, all right, boys, let me yeah. give you the laundry list of fucking games that I played with cops. It's it's far larger <laughs> than what I'm trying to like, you know, tell you. Yeah. Also, ten years, ten year old game. You know. Yeah. Oh, uh. I, what do you guys think about the Halo TV show? The, the Did you see the Chevy There's Tahoe a TV in show? It? D- There's a Tahoe in yeah, it? Yeah, dude. AK-47. I know. Dude, I've seen people complain about it, and I kind of actually really like this. Like, I, li- I like it. You know, the only thing I'm, I'm all in. Yeah, Socks. There's a uh, – yesterday yeah. during the AFC NFL halftime show – they were, they posted a, the trailer for the ten years in debt development Halo TV show that's coming out on March twenty fourth. I'm so fucking excited because I'm like a just a big ass dumb Halo fan who just loves everything that's Halo related and wait can't how ever the, find anything. How have it. you been alive for the last <laughs> Dude, fucking I don't know, generation? Man. I've been hibernating <laughs> since fucking two thousand thirteen. I hope like, they don't ruin like, it. Like. Something that big. Oh, it looks baby, good. They can't ruin anything since Halo 5. No. You can't. No, Halo 5 is so fucking bad, dude. <laughs> it was so bad, bro. You should have seen me when I first got that game. I was so excited. Dude, my Xbox Same. my Xbox one broke before Halo 5 came I out. I bought a new one just for it. Same here. Because, like, my thing stopped reading discs. Like, I knew this, like, a week ago. And I, like, put in Fallout. And I'm like, whoa, this game ain't working. Oh, this ain't working. Was it Fallout? I don't know. It's like, It wasn't working. And then I was like, I got to get a new disc. And then I... The game came out, bro. It took me longer to install the piece of shit than it was to finish mm. it. That game was that short. The marketing was so good. Yeah, with Locke versus the Chief, and like they had that like whole uh, like uh, like hunt thing um, that how they were like chasing chasing each other, tracing each other down or whatever. It was so cool. Cause they fucking lied to us. Yeah, but this Halo show I'm looks kind of cool. Yeah, it looks cool. I mean, hey, we've been hearing about this Halo TV show since, like, the original Xbox one. Like, Steven Spielberg's going to come down and finish this, yeah. and we're like, okay. Neil Blomkamp. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's on our oh. way here. I think you also got the Last of Us TV show, but I'm not so excited about, like, anything like that. I was the, I've never um, played it. The League of Legends has a TV show now, right? Dude, the Arcane Arcane was so good. Great. Is it good? It was so good. I haven't seen it yet, but people who don't even like League of Legends are in I don't like League show. of Legends, but Arcane was mm. fire. It, it was the best thing I watched this year, for sure. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm watching the anime Looking right now. Uh, Demon Slayer Season 2. Hey. So I gotta finish that. Oh, then... dude, I saw that on Twitch. That's sick. <laughs> 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 Good, good, yes. <laughs> oh, how do you, how do you feel about that, So, How do you feel actually making content and then realizing that you're an idiot because you could have just watched anime and got like six times on Twitch viewers. with no editing? Dude, that's not, I, you know, if, if people were doing it, I would probably do it too. If it was working, man, I mean, that sounds like a dream job right there. <laughs> just the meta. Just put my yeah. legs up and just watch TV. I mean, that sounds nice. <laughs> yeah, just like fuck it, you know. Like who ca- who cares about like actually? That's the thing that drives me insane. Sometimes like you work super hard on a video, and it's like oh, YouTube just like ten out of ten. Uh, Master Chef reaction. I'm like, all right, I guess yeah. I know what to win. I guess I know what to do now. You know. I mean, no, to be I'm completely honest, I, you can't like turn those streams into YouTube videos. A lot of the stream meta has revolved like if you can make a stream that you can make a great YouTube video for. Right? Like, so you have to go into the stream thinking what mm-hmm. you want the YouTube video to eventually look like because it's really difficult to promote a stream mm-hmm. from Twitch. If you would be able to make YouTube videos on reacting to anime, I would have totally watched anime on Twitch. <laughs> I would have yeah. totally done it. I, I don't see why you couldn't just do like a overall narration if you just like watch it on Twitch and just give your initial thoughts, record that, and then just like do a like a. I don't know, make like a fucking so review of it. You could, and then just However, narrate it and be uh, like the condense review, it. Like the whole review genre on YouTube is kind of dead, unless you have like a really specific take, which is why you only get like extremes. You get like Demon Slayer just murdered my child, or Demon Slayer Second Coming of Christ, and there's literally nothing in between. Like you, you don't get that in between. That's what I love That's about true. the yeah. internet, dude. It's that it just all lie. bleeds just into that. Well, like, just look, lie. it all bleeds into that culture war crap on the internet. You know what I mean? Like, my recommendations are filled with this shit. I watch like one Star Wars video. One Star Wars. You, video. It goes into the wormhole, right? <laughs> dude, I look. Mm-hmm. My recommendations. It's always like uh, Star Wars murdered my family. 
Do you ever hear about this actress named Brie Larson? Yeah. Dude, I had no idea what Brie Larson used to do. I have no idea. Like, I watched one thing about Brie Larson. I, honestly, I think she's kind of a cool person. I, I thought, you know, it's whatever. She was in, like, a Marvel movie. That's it. Like, mm -hmm. you, no. you watch a bit of her on YouTube, and she's, like, fucking... Everywhere. She's, like, up there with, like, El Chapo. Like, fucking... Yeah. You guys know about these... Dr that's where Brie Larson... That's that bad, at, bad at, like, S-tier of terrible she bad. people. I'm like, damn, dude. Shit. <laughs> It's like, I can't. But that's like the gaming thing, because it's like, you could go on the internet and you can just be like, like that Pokemon Legends Arceus that came out, not a perfect game, but you go on the internet, it's like, you, Pokemon Arceus like cured my family with like terminal right. cancer, or Pokemon Arceus fucking killed grandma, like brought her back to life and beheaded her in front of my eyes, like some fucking insane bullshit Holy that, fuck. you no know, that's you got to be really really extreme no one's gonna click uh lukewarm you know demon slayer episode four review no no one's gonna click that but demon slayer episode four went way too far what kind of world <laughs> do we live in what if you put big titties in the work. thumbnail okay that's your <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> right, that's yeah it's always work i think mean, dude, I there was just this whole like speaking everyone loves anime drama right in, like, one of the latest episodes of no. Demon Slayer, there's this girl, <laughs> Nezuko. She's, like, 12 or whatever. But when she uses her demon powers, she gets, like, bigger and grows, like, massive boobs. <laughs> I just watched that episode, dude. She... She like grew up. It was, it was like she, great, when, it was like a cool scene and all, but like Twitter's like, oh my god, all these people fed it. She's twelve years old. It's just, it's just like, well, yeah, it's, dude. I got in hot water once because they were like hitting me up with like, I, well, I made this take on you know what, what do they call like lowlies and shit like that. Oh I was like, god, that's, that's a little weird, you know. I was like, that's that's kind of weird. It's like Muda, they're like animated characters that are six thousand yeah, years old. I'm you like, really oh. don't understand that this. She may look like she's a nine year old girl, Muda. but she is in fact. They were drawn in the nineties. Six thousand years old. Dude, I'm, come dude I'm like, listen, you can say that all you want, but here's the end of the day. We both know we're on an FBI watch list. I'm on there for totally different reasons <laughs> that you're on there. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah, Caleb, with the fucking urinals and shit that you own in your house, I'm sure you're what on you mean, some. Bro? You still just have that sitting there? Yeah, I gotta use it. It's like a stream thing now. I just every time there's a break, I just go pee in it. He says that. Like a little, uh, I could attach like a little, uh, Cube, like a one PVC of those little colostomy bags to it, you know, and then actually pee in it. Wow. That'd be so funny. I'm gonna Ooh, do that. But I, I want to go to your house so bad. I just want to like walk around like a Come museum. On over. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over, man. I uh, I got a I got a fucking ET arriving today. Oh, Dude, life his size house is life like actual props. His house is like a fucked up version of Pee Wee's Playhouse, man. I swear it to is, God. It is, yeah. <laughs> With less public masturbating. <laughs> oh, come on. You can't bring up drama like that on our boy. Pee Wee <laughs> Herman got caught masturbating in a theater <laughs> in the fucking early 2000s. Well, wait, what, what? what movie was he watching in the theater? <laughs> Probably Demon Slayer. Probably like Demon Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we, we went there. Yeah, we, we went to the Pee Wee Herman jacking off in a theater story. I wouldn't have known about that if it wasn't for like, I think it was like nostalgia critic back in the day that like made that joke and I had to like Google it. I was like, there's no way our blessed mm -hmm. Pee Wee would be caught jacking off in public. My dad told me. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like ten, I was watching Pee Wee Herman, he was like, Yeah, it's all funny and stuff, but <laughs> he got caught touching his wiener in the theater. <laughs> oh, no. Your dad's so meaty, ruined your childhood of like one Dude, fell He's through. awesome. It's so funny. That's how my dad ruined like Santa, because we never had Christmas. So like my dad always found it weird weird it's like how do you celebrate a holiday where some fat guy breaks into your house like i just don't understand yeah, my, my parents true. are like, similar it's like you realize there are all these kids sitting under this man's lap that's really that's really weird and i'm like why it kind of is yeah. though it's also weird how the tooth fairy like pays kids for their fucking teeth <laughs> that fall out like what kind of a what like you gotta understand where do these like stories come out from right like the tooth fairy like you tell me some weird pixie dress <laughs> motherfucker breaks into your house looks under your kids but first off oh, what kind of a dumb kid yeah it's like here, let's grab this here's a here's a here's 20 bucks. buddy bro <laughs> you'd be lucky to get 20 bucks in my house for a fucking broken tooth i'd be extracting that shit myself what the fuck? I know, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to create a black market for your own teeth yeah like I, I remember like my mom did that once like i had a dollar under my pillow because i told her i'm like mom the tooth fairy is gonna visit right because i saw that shit on tv and my mom was like what there's actually a thing like that what, what are people on about and then i got it and then like the day after she's like look i don't want you to start believing bullshit 
but I put yeah. the dollar under your pillow. <laughs> and I'm like, I could tell, Ma, you weren't exactly quiet breaking into my fucking room. <laughs> like, had my eyes kind of open. I, you kind of destroyed the illusion for me, but that was the thing, you know? My parents didn't, didn't have any, didn't do anything cool like that. Uh, but what y'all say about Christmas? Christmas is my favorite holiday. It is my favorite holiday, you know? It's a time of year where we finally get to stay inside our house with, like, the snowstorms outside of us and... You know, we do. I, I mean, I'm just glad with Christmas, I don't have to see too many people in my family. Like, they can kind of just, like, have their own little party, and I can just kind of stay at home. It was 80 place. on Christmas this year. It ruined the spirit. It, it, it's, ruined not, the spirit of Christmas. it's not snowing anywhere. Well, at least not for yeah. me, man. It's like 90 degrees outside. Yeah, okay. yeah you're in North Carolina. Uh, yeah. right? <laughs> I, was, I was like, me and Nux were like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's not <laughs> snowing? <laughs> what? Snow what? I've, They're I've, in the great I've white north. <laughs> Oh, dude, the day I flew back from Houston was a day snowstorm just hit. I left when there was no snow, and then I, as soon as I landed back, like, I looked outside my plane window, and I saw, like, a mound of snow, right? And I was like, oh, it doesn't look like much. And then I, like, I peeked a little closer, and there was, like, one tiny car. Like, it looked like a goddamn Hot Wheel next to the snow, and I'm like, oh. Welcome fuck. home, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh it was fr- it's still freezingly terribly cold like it's like negative 18 degrees right now over here and it's just it's not fun at all but hey you know got to make a best out of a bad situation yeah, at least you right have he- you have heating bro dude you know how many cars there are that are just like blocked in like I, when i came home and came to my house my neighbor both of his cars they're just like up like i was like dude this guy is like this guy's not shoveling his snow and then i looked at his driveway i'm like from the second floor and I'm like, oh shit, his cars are frozen in. And I went up to him, I'm like, I'm like, are you gonna get them out? He's like, yeah, when the springtime oh, comes, man. sure, I'll drive again. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? When spring is sprung. Yeah. He like asked me, it's like, can I take your car there? And I'm like, don't you have a car? And I looked at his car and I'm like, oh, no, sure, go. Like, I, I felt so bad. You I'm can like, borrow my husky sled. My- <laughs> <laughs> i'm like i'm like you can take my you can take my fucking car that is so not for winter and just drive it around i guess shit y'all ever eaten a candy apple i have yeah that like an actual disgusting. apple yeah candy apple shit's disgusting they're gross those those still exist yeah you never had a candy apple nah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sell it on <laughs> sour anyways boys, right? we, we can move on <laughs> yeah sour boys I just wondered. something like that and what are you selling candy apples Sour boy, yeah, they're dude. different. What size you want? I want the biggest one you got, man. <laughs> if that shit's sour, I'm not taking it right now. It's gonna kill me, dude. No, yeah, true. <laughs> candy apple. Oh, but do you guys hear about like uh, Elon Musk was curing autism? Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Mm-hmm. It's huge. It's he's gonna have chips installed into our brain. Now, I want to ask you guys, who's dumb enough? Out of and Caleb, don't fucking say us. How many people are dumb enough to get this brain chip? Me. I'll be honest, I think that YouTubers will be first in line to test out Elon Musk's brain shit. <laughs> We're like the test subject. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. But like, all right, let's let's see who, who what will the titles be like. Imagine okay. the thumbnail. Giant red arrow into like your face, mm-hmm. bro. My <laughs> autism just got cured. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Neuralink failure, brain is setting on fire. Wow. <laughs> or it's like Neuralink surgery, like and then gone wrong. Gone it's wrong. just like the, gone yeah, it's like a fucking wrong. hole. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Neuralink installation. Doctor sucked me off middle of surgery. Didn't expect that. Got a little bonus. Elon showed up. <laughs> stimulated my prostate. Well, I don't understand. What's the what's the point of the Neuralink though? Like why are we getting why are we even considering getting chips installed in our brain? Isn't it like a phone like in your head? That's you true. could like do calculations like this. No, no, yeah, but no, I can no, do track us. I, I can do calculations in my own head. I didn't have to fucking get those chips installed. <laughs> like it's just called not being stupid. <laughs> like, yeah. Ten, ten times. <laughs> No, but like, it, it's like, it's like, if you're getting like, isn't that like exactly what the phone is for? Like, why would I need to get this installed into my head? Do you, or you really think I want that cancer that is known as Twitter in my own head? <laughs> like, that's, I use this to separate it medically. Just every, like, every no. time you close your eyes, you see your, twi- your Twitter feed just beefing with each other. See some hentai on the TL. What if that's all your dreams are? Like, you oh like, my. as soon as you pass out, you start dreaming and it like timelines just flowing through like in real, like people, you see all the nightly tweeters, you know? Like all the fucking mm-hmm. people who think they're so clever, three in the morning. If you're awake, yeah, go to bed. To like, oh, <laughs> Only real chads are awake right now, and then you're thinking yourself, oh. 
<laughs> you're like, wow, I'm really cool for having a fucked up sleep schedule. Hell yeah, <laughs> let's go. No, but like the other thing is like one of my buddies was like, you can watch Netflix on the toilet. I'm like, how the fuck is that any different from me watching it on the toilet with my fucking smartphone anyways? Like, I just feel like, dude, shit goes wrong so much. I don't, I don't think I would ever want anything that could potentially have a glitch and it's attached to my fucking brain. Every time you drive you know? in a tunnel and you like lose Seems reception, like a terrible idea. you just <laughs> <die>. <laughs> Someone pours like a little water, you know, and you shut off like halfway. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Will it make me limitless? Dude, this guy's car can barely function on a goddamn like autopilot and you want to, you want to trust him with your brain? I know, what dude. the fuck? Yeah. Didn't it kill someone a couple years ago? It did, yeah. Well, dude, okay, this is what I hate about like fucking Elon Musk and like Tesla and shit. You go on Twitter, yo, this guy's got the biggest defense force imaginable. Like you make mm -hmm. one criticism of Tesla and all the fucking nerds seethe out from under the basement like, what? The what testing wrong yeah, about I cars? love that you think that Elon <laughs> that the Elon stands are more toxic than the Minecraft ones. I actually unironically I, I do really like don't. these motherfuckers. <laughs> dude, they're like I, I swear so, I yeah. don't understand Elon stands. Like they feel it, it all like they all want to portray that they're like expert AI like developers, but yet they've done nothing. Like they have no fucking concept of what they're talking about. I literally sat one day, I was like, maybe you just shouldn't call this cars autopilot and like full self driving. Cause that's a that's a little disingenuous, you know what I mean? No way yeah, does, what the fuck? <laughs> like this car doesn't fully self-drive you have to like fucking align it on the road and tap like a few buttons for it to like you know just actually start guiding it and it, full self-drive is a little bit of a fucking that's like a misnomer YouTube title, by the way okay that's not the truth yeah exactly <laughs> it's like he's kind of click but you don't clickbait transportation right. mechanisms because you're always going to have a dipshit that like you know will just enable the full auto steering and just like kind of lay back and they're like but the car tells you not to do it i'm like okay but like let's let's not joke around yeah. YouTube tells you not to put boobies in the thumbnail. And yet people do anyways. I don't know. There's like that Tesla drivers that. that are like, you know, we go gr like I, I was driving behind a Tesla and their license plate was like go green. And I was like, do these people not know where like most electricity comes from? Like just because you drive a Tesla doesn't mean you're like saving the planet because like 90% oh, of whoa, like, whoa, electricity. Whoa, 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 socks. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> I, dude, I'll be honest. I don't think I'm going green what the fuck so ever. Dude, <laughs> dude 100% of Tesla drivers are full of themselves. All right. That's dude, what don't, I'm don't, don't the batteries have like, aren't the batteries like really hard to make? And take a lot of. I'm pretty yeah. sure driving a Tesla yeah. is actually worse than like a gasoline car. Ben, it's just like people used to say that about the the Priuses as well. I don't know if that's true, dude. All I know is like people who tell me it's like, aren't you saving so much money on gas? I'm like, you know how much the fucking car costs, brother. All right, eat my ass. The only people buying yeah. this shit are pretentious motherfuckers. This shit yeah, costs dude. more than like those Porsche electrics. Last I checked, I don't need to hear shit from anybody. Oh. And you know, yeah, I've got. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. No, you no, were going to bring up the Bronco oh, okay. story, and I was excited. No, no, no. I was going to bring up a, a Coleman 100 UT story yesterday. Uh, so I have all these electric bikes and these little fucking stupid toys everywhere. And, what? Uh, yeah, dude, I have a lot of really dumb shit. I'm coming over, man. I have, like, uh, these cool bikes. Uh, they're called Quiet Cats, and they, they, they're they for, like, hunting and stuff. And you, you ride them, and they, they go, like, 25, 30 miles per hour. They're yeah, pretty yeah, fast. Wow. Uh, and the battery li lasts a long time, and they're expensive. They're extremely expensive, like upwards of five grand for a good one. Oh, wow. Um, and I bought this thing on stream, uh, Coleman 100 UT, which is a, it's a 96cc little red motorbike with a little uh, combustion engine in it. And that thing is faster and it lasts like it, it uses a half gallon of gas. That bitch lasts three fucking hours. You can't tell me that that's worse for the environment using a half gallon of gas for three hours of just going then then driving a a fucking uh an e-bike right. around for 45 minutes and having to recharge it dude i'm about to buy one of these e-bikes that shit looks fucking do sick it, bro. The, i have a code i have a code thing, use my code uh, you actually like the people that i do i'll, I'll, I'll I feel like a lot of people that talk about protecting the environment's like you, you know um ugh, what's his name chandler the mr beast guy mm-hmm yeah. Right. So he was like big on the team trees, team trees, team trees, and now he's like he's an ex hexagon profile picture on Twitter right now. He's an NFTs. Big NFTs. Time NFTs. It's the future, man. Socks. Are you gonna buy an ape? Nah, dude. I, I okay. Correct me. I I don't know too much about NFTs, but I think it's just a giant scam for rich people to get richer. Like you know, like I think you're right. You know, like. For <laughs> Like being part of like the board ape club is just so you could 
it's just because you know these celebrities have them so you want to be like part of their group or something right Were but you like, tell me gwyneth paltrow didn't buy an ape herself what <laughs> i'm fucking shocked you blow my mind <laughs> the pussy candle bitch <laughs> That girl? Yeah. Thanks for <laughs> reminding me of that. No, uh, Soxer, uh, listen, I don't want to. on the ball, yeah. I don't want to say NFTs are scams, okay? I will. I, I'm just saying they're scams. Um, NFTs seem like scams. Okay, yeah, if so. they're not I mean, scams, you can yes. pull off a really good pyramid scheme with them. Yeah, especially when you, uh, when it's, uh, when I see an ad for it, <laughs> oh. I go on Twitter and I see a fucking ad for a NFT. What? You know what I mean? They're like, like bad like, ass too. products. They look like yeah, they're really bad. Well, I, I always like say Not it with, I always say it with like NFTs where like fucking when we jump into the world of Okay, I just opened it up. Coffee over here made this ice Poseidon thing that I've also been working on and I'm glad that he mentioned it. But uh yeah, something about like uh the NFT world. And every time I look into it like I think initially when I saw it, everyone that jumped onto it initially profited like crazy. You know, like they made their mm-hmm. fucking money. You like, know, like anybody selling the yeah, like people selling like board apes and like the crypto punks and whatever's popular sick dicks. now. These sick dicks. <laughs> and like now, after the whole NFT craze is done, I feel like the people that are now jumping onto the trend are gonna find it like, oh, it's easy to buy one because because everyone wants mm-hmm. to get rid of it. They're so. shit coins now. Yeah, they're all shit coins. But good luck trying to find somebody that's going to pay those like astronomical hundred thousands of dollars for it. So yeah, you're right. It's it's kind of like a scam. Anybody that tells you it isn't a scam has invested either made their money from it by being mm-hmm. smart, or they've invested their money so deep into that shit that they don't want to fucking feel like they're stupid and lose it. You know, mm-hmm. like it is what yeah, it I think. There's a lot of cognitive dissonance going on. People convincing themselves that it's the future. I mean, yeah, it might be eventually, it. but mm-hmm. like. Have you seen the commercials for like the new metaverse and stuff? Yeah. I mean, th- it looks like PS1 graphics. I'm, I'm like it VR looks like chat shit. looks better. Like we're still yeah, it looks like fucking so shit. far behind. It, it might be, but you can't start a cult in VR chat though, Socks. <laughs> you can't buy buy vast amount vast swaths of land and start a cult. I mean, actually, you could probably in VR chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. They wouldn't let Muda in. The, I didn't do any research. Muda just mentioned arguing. earlier lollies aren't based, and I think that that's like, you know, <laughs> that's the line. That's pretty required. I guess, for VR I chat. guess I'm brain dead. You know, I'm a I'm a bad person. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's uh, it's it's all it's all bullshit. Yeah, I was looking at like a uh, li- I was looking at Ice Poseidon. So Coffee released a video like 43 minutes ago about uh ice poseidon stealing like five hundred thousand dollars from his fans oh through like cx surprised. coin apparently allegedly uh, you know again allegedly, allegedly and uh i i actually want to make a video now like tomorrow over this because i had a call with ice about this exact coin months ago and you know the thing that i always find weird is like you can summon these kind of people these like absolute douchebags literally by just like mentioning like their scam in the slightest you know so i was like looking mm-hmm. at it a while ago and i I, every time you talk to these people, and this is Ice Poseidon, the same guy that in a night call told me like, "Hey, you know, this is kind of the future of virtual real estate, all this metaverse shit." And I was like, "This is when I realized like I'm jumping into what is literally like Nuck said like not ten minutes ago, a great business for pyramid style like businesses." Mm-hmm. Yeah, Charles Ponzi. Yeah, like dude, you can't hear the world's virtual real estate. You know why real estate is worth money? It's because God doesn't make anymore. You know what I mean? And don't fucking. <laughs> Don't act all scientific in yeah. the comment section. Earth is like, limited. Well, don't get yeah, people in the comments are going to be like, but Muda in grade four, I learned about tectonic plates. Eat my ass. Okay. We're not getting into that. <laughs> yeah. shit. Dude, Lick his you whole need brain. somewhere to live. <laughs> okay. At the end of the day, yeah, like, you need somewhere to live. Yeah. Right. Well, I think the future man is like, they want us to be fucking pot people and eating like insects. Mm-hmm. Verticality. Yeah. Like, dude, it's like now, nowadays, like I swear the world's getting so fucking messed up. That, like, you look into the future and it's like, you know, you're going to, like, Asia or, like, you go to Japan, there's, like, pod hotels. You guys know what they yeah. are, right? Yeah. Like, Socks, you ever see a pod hotel? Uh, no. Dude, it's the most depressing shit in the world. So, basically, there's, like, hyper cheap, like, hotels that you go to mm-hmm. and you rent, like, a fucking pod, like, a human-sized pod that you just kind of, like, sleep in. It's like, that's what it is. Like, one bunk bed, basically? It's Yeah, it's effectively <laughs> just a bunk bed and that's what it, that's what it is. Why? Why though? Because you're because you're there cheap. to adventure, to see the place. Yeah. You just need a place to sleep uh. or store your body. Okay. <laughs> you fucker, you know how expensive it is to live in Tokyo? God damn, you have to sell your kidney to even afford a fucking bathroom out there. What the fuck? But uh yeah, and then it's like also beyond that is like all the insect shit that I keep seeing on Twitter, like 
have you guys ever tried cricket pancakes? I'm like, nah, nah. Uh, pancakes shouldn't to. be made out of fucking cricket. No, no tarantula. <laughs> I used to do that shit before it was cool, though. Before it was part of the globalist scheme. You ate cricket flour pancakes? No, no. I used to get. Uh, I used to make. Uh, like when I was four or five, <laughs> there, every time there'd be a fire, I would get like a little metal cup, a little metal cup, and I'd put water in it and I'd boil grasshoppers and bugs and eat, drink it and eat them. Does it taste good? <laughs> No. <laughs> what no. Why? Oh my Why God. would you? Just I don't know, do dude. That I just used to fucking floor. beat my head on the floor too, bro. I think there might be. Yo, you need going Elon on. Musk more than <laughs> any honest. of us. Okay. You, you yeah, need the I chip, man. Yes. I think we, Caleb uh, needs the Neuralink. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was also homeschooled as well. I, weren't you socks? Yeah, Were you homeschooled? homeschool gang. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> Okay, but like homeschooling yeah. doesn't make you drink grasshoppers and bash your head <laughs> on the ground. You know, to be fair, I did that before. Uh, you did that, you did that <laughs> before cool. getting enrolled. That's in when the... his parents realized, okay, he's not going to survive with the other children. <laughs> Wait, it was like first period, like fucking basic, like Caleb, don't fucking smash your head on the ground. Also, don't drink grasshoppers. Also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, it was honestly. Like survival schemes for, for, for you learning. Yeah, but like. I, you know, that's the thing with homeschooling. Like, I don't really knew one kid around me that was actually homeschooled, like one. And he actually was like one of the smarter kids. Like his parents were like, like I, people have this weird perception of homeschooling, but it's like, you guys have to like do the exact same testing. If I'm not mistaken, that like every other kid. No, does, mine was right? way worse. My, I, did, I went to a private school, like a private homeschool. I graduated when I was 15. What? So it was very difficult. My mom's like a, has like a master's in teaching. Did your mom so like, it was like teach you? Yeah. Oh, Okay, mine mm -hmm. was different. Like, I just, I went on a computer and learned, like, online. Like, basically how it was when everyone was quarantined. But I Was it K-12? Uh, no, it was called Connections Academy. Okay, yeah, I did that for one year. I did that for one year. Ah. I went, uh, I went to the public school system. It clearly failed me is all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, no, it failed me too. It's fucking useless. Yeah, well, see, like, that's why I'm glad out of the only piece of, like, my family is like it's filled with smart people like fucking theoretical physics degrees like doctors business people and here i am as the only dropout finally in the family let's yeah. go like you got breaking dude, the game. I go, dude i go to all the family gatherings and it's like fucking they're all talking about their careers and shit and i'm just like hey man i didn't i didn't finish university <laughs> i didn't go all the way through put a little texas accent exactly, on it <laughs> i man Bruh. it's I'm gonna be sad. i'm so well, I excited keep for like future fam my brother just got accepted to med school uh, and oh here I God. am Rats. making Rats. videos on YouTube. <laughs> I saw that on Twitter, and everyone was like, "Does that mean Nux isn't going to be online anymore?" And I was like, "What does that even yeah, mean?" I don't, I don't know. Like, why? Yo, that make... Someone responded to my tweet saying, "Oh, you'll never see him again," and I said, "Maybe that's why I'm so excited." And that <laughs> that thread has like fifty thousand upvotes on r slash hold up. <laughs> r slash hold up, hold up. Yeah. dude i'm glad that you ding, take ding, that ding, i take r slash shit posting that's my reddit now hey. like i'll just post something brain dead and it shows up on there and well, like, i, I ah. didn't post it on there <laughs> <laughs> one of the a reddit youtuber was like oh hey look what i found <laughs> one of the uh, i just opened up shit posting and one of the fucking nft profile picture accounts were like i've been hacked all my apes are gone <laughs> fuck, dude? dude uh uh, you're right though, Muda. Back to the homeschool kids and stuff. I we hung. I did a lot of recreational activities with homeschool like kids. Crack. And where I lived, deep in the heart of Appalachia, okay, the, most of the kids who are getting homeschooled not for the same reason I was getting homeschooled. Most of the kids are just getting homeschooled just because they was learning that they're six thousand years old, okay. And I'm not saying it ain't, but I'm kind of also saying it is <laughs> a little older than six thousand years, all right. No, what are you so, talking about? The Earth is only twenty days old. What the fuck? <laughs> as soon as the board board ape yacht club came into existence, <laughs> so did our reality. Was it was that one Family Guy skit where are. they talk about like the history of the Earth and the guy just like re edits like God as they talk about like <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> that that's it? basically what the homeschooling was for the. Uh, for a lot of the kids that I hung out with and stuff, I just didn't understand them. I would bring up like Halo and stuff, and then they'd be like, "Halo, no. there's no that planet. That's the thing that Video angels games have for the above devil. Their heads. No, Halo, <laughs> Master Chief ain't real. That's just Jesus. <laughs> uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus putting them <laughs> putting them aliens out of commission. God, damn yeah, like. I was I was so mad at them though. I didn't like them. I used to argue with them a lot. I'm sure that was productive. Dude. It really was. I was very. I got really good at arguing when I was like 10 years old. I used to argue with my grandparents about politics. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's like, do they even love you still? Like, I know, I know. <laughs> They're both dead. They're both dead. <laughs> oh. 
Well, I mean, like, if I... So I won. Yes! I know. Like, at the end of the day, you always win against your grandparents. It only takes a little bit of time, right? Like, come on now. No, I, yeah. uh, if, if I argue like that with my grandparents, I think I'd probably be what you consider, like, a fourth-term abortion. Like, I'd just be gone, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm glad grandpa's, grandpa's gone before I was born. If he'd seen me now, oh, fuck, he'd be fucking doing RPMs on the grave is what I know. Shit. <laughs> Damn, that's uh, funny. but yeah what do you uh but like that's that's sort of our homeschooling rant audience so if you're homeschooled and you believe the earth is six thousand years old we don't hold it against you okay <laughs> yeah but consider broadening your broadening your horizons beyond the firmament yeah consider right. uh there's a great website called google.com you can just <laughs> yeah. go on there and write look history. up how old is the earth <laughs> and and if you if you go to facebook.com and type that in don't even fucking <laughs> you're gonna be even stupider you know facebook changed my mind this is a cia operation designed to make us fucking brain dead it is there's no way Dude, I went on Facebook for 15 minutes last night to message like a, like somebody from back home. And I went down the pipeline, dude. I went into that shit. I went down the fucking Biden is a scary alien lizard. And I was like, oh, shit. Oh, no. <laughs> like, he's like an 80 year old lizard. I'm like, I, think, I don't think Biden can remember. Like, I don't know if Biden even remembers when he changed his socks, to be honest with you. Joe today. Biden. Yeah. He's almost fucking 80, bro. I don't, I don't, I've never spoken to an 80 year old person and been like, yeah, he could run the country. <laughs> 80 year old guy. <laughs> Well, it's more so like he fucking smells like old people. Oh, like the old person, like fucking formaldehyde they smell. <laughs> yeah, they're rotting, dude. They're yeah. melting, literally. I think when you're I over seventy five, you're rotting from the inside, like hundred percent. No doubt, yeah, yeah. dude. You I, got you got black lungs. I have dude. a retirement home, like right next to the plaza I live in. And I drive I by it, it stinks, dude. It is the saddest looking place in the world. Like, <laughs> I, dude, I'm gonna be honest. If like I was that old and my fucking grandkids were like, "All right, Grandpa, we're gonna have to shove you into the retirement home," I'd be like, "You fucking kill me! Like, actually, yeah, fucking me. kill me! Yeah. Like, ch- take me out back to the sunset and just fucking send me to God on that one. There ain't no way I'm <laughs> living in that shit." A Nintendo hits a YouTube soundtrack channel with over 1,300 copyright blocks. Yeah. 1300 that's so a lot a lot of that has been going on dude, lately. So uh, even dumb. there was this one dude who was playing undertale point crow he was playing undertale on twitch he wanted to upload the vod and the undertale music got claimed Wait, undertale as well yeah and they dude never that's like a chunk of youtube channels yeah there. i thought undertale was like chill Same. i know nintendo <laughs> was always like on top of things like no one can use anything oh speaking of copyright uh you know uh, totally not mark my uh my yeah, friend the anime he got dude. free so basically he um you, the conclusion that youtube came to was yes you got 150 copyright claims uh which is very unfortunate however our solution is you could just block your videos from being viewed in japan that was their con- conclusion to the saga dude i don't know if that's even still reasonable like japan's what like a pretty sizable viewer yeah, base for that not, kind of content for isn't English. It? so i made anime content less than one percent of my views at that point were from japan so it's not really sizable but i do know that a lot of anime youtubers and i even suggested this to mark years ago like they partner with mcns uh and the mcn has the ability to block their content in japan like my friend, uh, another anime channel, Anime Uproar, he got three strikes and his channel got taken down at one point. And he partnered with an MCN. They blocked the channel in Japan, and he's back. Like this, this is something that they've been doing for a long time, but YouTube never actually implemented it as one of the tools in YouTube's toolkit. So that's nice, bro. YouTube doesn't implement a lot of shit that I wish they goddamn did. But hey, at least we're getting NFTs on you. Yo, that's true. Why? That's all. Yeah, I'm so fucking excited. Just kidding. I'm gonna I'm gonna literally like create like fucking an asshole NFT. Like I'm just gonna yeah, stretch dude. my ass. I'll buy I'm gonna that. make like I'm gonna make a thousand <laughs> ass stretches on an NFT. I'll be like a thousand buy- Muda ass stretches. Yeah, it's ass, like each ass each ass stretch is rarity. It's rarity by how gaped it gets, you know? Like you, you could you could also increase the rarity and diversity of your ass stretch NFT by shaving your ass and then taking a new photo every day as the hair regrows. Ooh, that's t- oh dude, that's like that's like, that's like those videos like I, I stretched yep. my ass for 10 years. Here's a photo of every single yeah. day. Yeah, <laughs> looks like Nick Akata Avocado. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I, I feel like Nico Cotto's ass, like his own minted asshole on an NFT. He can on sell YouTube. that as an NFT. 
I'd buy it. Like, I'm not even joking. <laughs> so would I, bro. Dude, I'm going to be honest with if, you. If, like, tomorrow there was so a thing, like, I. I watched the Nico Kata video, and, like, under the video, like, by the like-dislike, it's, like, mint a picture of his asshole. Uh, I'd be... I would click that. Dude, I'd be, like, a scalper. Titties. I'd be, like, mint, 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 mint. I'd, like, own, like, <laughs> yeah, 900 of those. This. I will own all of these. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll just have, like, a collection on the blockchain of Nico ass. Like, it'll just belong to me and only me. And then I'll just like piecemeal give it out like to people. And I feel like there's a lot of YouTubers that would buy that shit. Like, oh yeah, I would. <laughs> everyone here agrees. It's like the yes. smartest fucking investment in the world. Yes. Like, like everyone on the NFT. So I'm like, you want to make this your NFT profile picture on Twitter? You want to make this little asshole the picture? You want to make this your hexagon? Which mm -hmm. last week I was talking about this, and I'm thinking of like actually doing it later today because I'm sick and I have nothing better to do. Is I'm gonna go download like all the expensive NFT pictures I see on Twitter mint them on a on the on the chain and just like put them as a collection go fuck yourself Dude, and then put that on twitter that's such a good idea do it because you can because like you have to click on because i'll have the hexagon profile picture and like when you click on it it'll be like l plus ratio like haha i stole your <laughs> nft <laughs> like who fucking cares but uh yeah beyond that i feel like i feel like i do that and then the smaller commentary people grab it and that becomes a topic for the next like month and a half our buddy Socks for one has a little, in, you know, little uh, recent kerfuffle with that. A little, Man, little yeah. I, 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 I love Being the commentary commentated on. community. Those guys are legends. They, I yeah. love, they're funny. I love doing commentary. <laughs> I've done it so like I'm not like a I'm not a very particularly opinionated individual generally speaking. Unless it comes to certain things. I don't know, man. You just said, right? with, just you said with a yeah. lot of certainty you think the world is older than 6,000 years old, dude. I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, that's because there's a lot of evidence. <laughs> well, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Usually it's based on evidence. Yeah. Well, from who? Uh, the fucking mainstream media? Okay. All right, dude. Sure. All right, yeah. dude. Yeah. Wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up. Go <Joe> Biden. <laughs> Sorry. He was about, uh, he was about yeah, no. Yeah, I, I, like, I don't really like take myself seriously or like most stuff that I see. So it's really hard to do commentary. And... Uh, um, but there's just so many channels that just fucking, they're just so like, they're so certain. And then they don't do anything funny. See, though, that's, well. that's what everyone's you know, like, missing, critical bro. That's what everyone's missing. Is comedy. Yeah. It's not entertaining content yeah, at the end of the day. It's not funny. It's just like drama and tea and stuff. And I'm just like. There's okay. nothing cool, like there's nothing funny that you can ever do. Like I remember when Sniper Wolf had her fucking thing where it's like I didn't call up that kid with cancer. Bruh. And I was like, oh dude, what a girl boss. Fucking amazing, bro. She's got <laughs> yes, that's hilarious. Like, imagine like she she like gets finished after her five minutes of reviewing her TikTok videos that she didn't even watch. And it's like, oh, do I call this kid with like life? Fuck that. What the I gotta yeah, enjoy my life. Restaurant. Exactly. I eat a molten chocolate lava cake. I was like, I was like, that's some girl bot shit. Congratulations on her. I would have done the fucking kind of the same, you know what I mean? Like, ugh, life threatening illnesses. Fuck that. I got yeah, eat some machines chocolate lava and lick old fucking hot dog wiener hot dogs wiener. What's her boyfriend's name? Hot dog? Sausage or something? Yeah. <laughs> but that's like that's the kind of drama that I like because it's a kind of well, I shouldn't say it's low stakes, but like sausage. she she did call she did call the girl afterwards and unfortunately yeah, that eventually. girl passed but you know mm -hmm. and it, like but that's the kind of drama right like people get like fucking called out for shit like that it's kind of like oh okay it's not like they sat there and did something unthinkably like terrible like which is what the drama yeah. we see nowadays yeah. so you know it's it's different but like it's now you got like the i think the biggest problem is like beyond like not being funny is like morally being like superior like you got to be morally superior than the other mm -hmm. person now and it's like i don't know if i could live in a place like that where because i'm not morally superior like i'll fully admit it i do a lot of fucked up shit okay like if you heard me Same, on yeah if i if you caught me playing rainbow six siege you know i can't be toxic anymore playing that game like i literally can't say fucked up shit to my teammates every time i play that game online i say so much bad stuff like this one dude was talking a whole like this one guy was sucking eggs this one game and I just kept on talking all this shit about him and his family. And like one other person on the mic was like, wait, do I recognize your voice from somewhere? Oh, and I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> no. I like, I like alt, no. alt F4, alt F4. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, <I'm walking> away. <laughs> like, no, but like, like if you catch me doing that, I'm not going to pretend and be like, oh, I'm this great moral figure. No, I, yeah, dude, I'm dumb fucked up shit. You, you guys, yeah, you, you, you can still, and you can still point shit out too, yeah. but like, you, you like I've I I'm not a hypocrite or I, I am a hypocrite right most people are hypocrites pretending to never be a hypocrite is like 
is yeah. is the dumbest shit ever in the entire fucking world because it's not nothing's black or white. And the whole point of like being a person and making mistakes is like bettering yourself. And you have to be a hypocrite in order to better yourself. You have to be. Yeah. Wow. Look so. at you. Like, you know, this is the thing I always find weird about him. He's like, he has all the life advice. Like he actually has like a good head on his shoulders. Yeah. This is, and then this is the same guy as buying urinals and shit. And just like keeping him around the house. Oh my man. Society is all fucking different now. <laughs> like, what the uh. fuck? But that that's the thing. Like, that's why I don't like engage too hard with that community because it's all about being like morally righteous and like, Mm-hmm. It used to be that they were trying to be like legitimately funny. Now it's like trying to find a gotcha and like some way to like, you know, I guess be the better person. Well, when I, in reality, everyone's I think most just a of the be the better person thing is because there's like a lot of civil wars in the commentary space, and I don't know <laughs> that that stuff's weird to me. I don't get it. It's like you're really close friends, you meet up with each other, and then all of a sudden, everyone's a pedophile. Right, like, dude, it's the same community. Like, it's it's the one community you never want to be in a Discord call with because you know one motherfucker is just recording it the whole time. Like, it is what it is. Like, socks. You ever go to like? I'm sure in the Minecraft community, you probably sat with a few people that are like, "Oh shit, one of them is recording me." There's an imposter among us type shit. (laughs) I mean, this is why I I really stay in a bubble, and this is why I also stay like kind of safe with my content Mm -hmm. because like these days everyone's just like so sensitive to like literally anything that you'd say. So I usually stick to like the people I hang out with every day, and I don't like go outside that bubble because like I mean you know well yeah dude just it just takes like one you know one thing you know like usually I have like super dark humor, but like. You know, if mm-hmm. you say one sentence wrong attest. thing, you know, like, like Oompa knows, yeah. like, but like, uh, you know, I it's just you have to be so careful now these days, which is kind of, you know, bullshit. You know? Do you feel sometimes you have to be careful because you're worried that YouTube might like hit you with like a community guideline strike for a joke? That I have a community far? guideline strike. You yeah, do? No, I, I, okay. oh, I mean, two years ago, dude, my content was like unfamily friendly. Like I spoke like whatever I wanted to say. I did a... I did a Minecraft video, but I put a dog collar around my like neck, and every time I died, I like shocked myself. Right? I thought it was funny. It, <laughs> I thought it was funny as shit. But then I got a community yeah. guideline strike that it was unsafe for viewers, and I was like, "What? Are they gonna go back home and be like, oh, let me try this and start shocking themselves?' Like, no. Did you, you make see- sure in the? Did you make sure in the first thirty seconds that you told them this was a pretty fucking neurodivergent idea? And you, I was like, do don't it. do this. <laughs> right like like don't do this at home right and yeah. but you see like hundreds of other youtubers doing like shock challenges and shit like that right but like you know when i did it it was like the end of the world and they like automatically reject your appeal like like yeah, yeah. I, oh, in, like second, six yeah. seconds yeah. like it was like as soon as i clicked it rejected so, it was like youtube doesn't play by the same rules for everyone i think everyone gets reviewed by different people like i mean you still mm-hmm. see that video. It's still on YouTube with like 10 million views. Real dick versus dildo challenge. That was on trending. Okay? <laughs> I watched it a that few times. That was on trending. Wait, that was on trending? It was trending. I, I was losing it because mm-hmm. I was, I'm still getting like age restrictions all the time. And um, see, I'm not anymore. I don't know what happened. My, my channel has been like, I haven't gotten a single like limited hit. And there, there's literally a video out there. I don't know which one it is. My ball sack's in it. I'm, I'm not sure which one it is. Don't tell them which <laughs> I'm proud of you. Bro. I don't know which one it is. <laughs> well, your ball like, sack's in it. Easter egg. Yeah, there's a video with my fucking nutsack in it. It's like one frame. Good job. <laughs> I'm going to mm-hmm. look through. That's just a way for me to like, that's, that's <laughs> such a ploy to get about. watch time. It's like, now he said that, people are going to be like, oh shit, let's scan every frame. My of ball sack is in one frame nutsack. in these 10 videos. The first 10 people to find it gets Flown out to my Dude, the, the real dick versus dildo challenge did get age restricted, so Aww. YouTube like prevented oh, it. So did it? Okay. That, yeah. that, that's a recent. Well, that's thing, fucking. Though. That's that's homophobic then. Yeah. Fuck YouTube. Well, you want you want to recreate the video there, MP? When I'm down in Texas, we'll do it. Like, no, real dick. no, no, no. Not really. <laughs> wow. <laughs> to be honest, no, no, no. I'm good. That's homophobic. <laughs> I'm good, bud. That's I'm good, bad. bud. <laughs> we could we could get a we could get. Dude, this meanwhile, is a sponsored video. What meanwhile, the wheel the wheels in Oofy's heads turning. It's like, mm, real vagina versus sex toy challenge. Yeah, I just opened this, like, sponsor video. Like, they're, they're like, adammail.com. I'm actually glad we don't screen share because it's just, like, dicks on top of dicks everywhere. It's like, dude, man squeeze? That's a toy? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. 
Dude, that's like an even harder to enter hole than the fucking fleshlight stuff. Gross. Ugh. It's a man squeeze. Ooh, goddamn. Yeah. But yeah, these guys did like their whole video. That's a 5.3 million viewed video. That's like, that's kind of, it's not even like that old. Like, I remember seeing this in like the cycle like last year. I can't imagine it was on. Well, like to be real, like I, I would rather accept that content on YouTube than like YouTube just like auto like blocking it and like age yeah. restricting. It's like who fucking cares? I'd rather know? have that than than I'd rather have all the nothing. Why doesn't you know? like YouTube if your video gets age restricted? Why doesn't it just tell you where in the video was like it, what's age mm -hmm. restricting? You know, they just age restrict the whole video. And I'm like, I don't know, you know, what part of the video is like too bad or something like that, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they maybe just, it maybe it wasn't the dog caller. Maybe it wasn't the dog caller that did it for you. Maybe you said like a certain gamer word somewhere in the video. Yeah, it could be a thing. Yes, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I mean, you were getting <laughs> you were getting fucking electrocuted. Do you remember exactly? What you I, uh, <laughs> dude, I I I went through my Facebook. Because I started my Facebook when I was like in like 2007 or right after it became like popular for kids or something. I can't remember exactly, but I uh, my first image was a picture of Gary's mod. Okay. And people can't get mad at me for this because I was fucking like 10 years old. Okay. I was maybe 11. I just, it was whatever year Gary's mod came out. Whatever that was. And uh, Mr. The G Man, you know the G Man from Half Life? Yeah. 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 The G Man, he had a, I don't know if we should put this in. No, 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 go ahead. You, it had a do rag. He had a do rag on his head, right? And he was like making this wacky face from a uh, source filmmaker. And it's in, in the caption, it said, What's up, my N word, right? Okay. But it didn't have G's, it was K's, okay? And it was a soft A at the end. So it wasn't like <laughs> extremely racist. But for some reason, I thought it would be pertinent and intelligent. Yeah as a small child to put that as my profile picture on Facebook. <laughs> so I had a almost racial slur for presumably a few months, <laughs> right? As a child on Facebook. Um, and I, I went back to my Facebook a couple months ago and like deleted a whole bunch of old shit. Cause it was all just really cringe anyways. But the, uh, the G man, gamer word was definitely an interesting thing to find and having not remembered the g-man gamer word and like people yeah. people are gonna like is anybody like way back machine to you and like found that oompaville true, secretly they could. racist sure they could. Well, yeah well i didn't i mean i yeah I, like i didn't know i don't know what my what was really going through my head really you like were, i'm not sure what people should just admit like you, as a younger person you your humor is like <laughs> way different and stupider so i thought like, it was funny yeah probably. like back then you know i would have found i'll fully admit dude there's so much shit on 4chan back in the day that i used to see that was like hilarious 4chan pre-2016 was like a totally different website you know after that it became like yeah. just a giant hellscape like pre-2016 people were out there fucking the funniest shit that i ever read was like this one it was like the seven proxies meme or some shit where like some guy like fucked up the grades of some girl or whatever or like someone someone in college and they're like i'm gonna send the police after it's like good luck bitch i'm behind seven fucking proxies good luck finding me. it's just filled with dumb memes you know like that's all it was and now it's like a completely different site i think the humor was definitely something like i think as a 27 year old i would have been like oh that's stupid but like when you're 14 13 12 the world is so yeah. different to you you know like that's why COD yeah. lobbies were so toxic, you know, like nowadays is that audience matured. We're like, okay, now we probably realize that what we were, what we found funny a decade plus ago is not exactly riveting humor, but that is we age and we change. And anybody that sits there and they're going to pretend like you're a bad person forever finding that funny. That's a hypocrite right there. Cause we all know that people like, we all know we were like that back in the day. A lot of us at least. More than we care to admit. Yeah, that's why the posturing thing is weird. And that's why it's kind of scary to have a community that's, like, a lot younger than you. Like, I don't know, Mr. Minecraft son uh, here might agree. But uh, you, you realize they don't have that 20-year-old experience that you do, right? So they're growing up where, I don't know, man, if you said the N-word a million years ago, god damn! Well, you remember, like, Paula Dean when, like, the thing came out mm -hmm. way back in the day, like, how she said a slur? And, like, comparatively to shit nowadays, it feels, like, definitely harmless in comparison. Dude, she lost, like, everything over that. And can I just be the first one to say, when it came out, like, old Paula Dean, like, southern frat chicken Paula Dean might have said a word that was a little too 
against yeah, the grain. Georgia. Bro, she's I was not fucking Georgia. Dude, I wasn't even like surprised at all. I'm like, oh shit, that like makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Bro, that's where yeah. he's from, dude. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, get out of here. She's from literally the deep south. Well, uh, I'm actually speaking like totally tonal shift over here, change. I'm actually thinking of going back to Los Angeles and like fucking exploring Skid Row. What's Skid Row? Oh, you don't know Skid Row? Oh, so like basically <laughs> California, Los Angeles, a city. Wait, how many of you guys don't know what Skid Row I know is? It is? I just want to like ask you. Yeah. I know. I know it's also a map in Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> Well, the Modern Warfare 2 map is definitely a lot more cleaner and nicer compared to what the actual <laughs> place is. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so if you don't know what Skid Row is, in Los Angeles, they have such a homeless problem because, fun fact, homeless people die in the winter during New York and Toronto. That is a fun we, fact. We freeze to death. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, fun wow. fact. So what That's they fun. do is they go to, like, California because Cal it's not that California is, like, super cool to the homeless. It's just the weather's no, great. Nah, dude, Hassan there. puts all of them up in his mansion. Oh, bullshit. Yep. I was way more socialist when I was there. <laughs> I Airbnb'd a place in Los Angeles, and I was coming home. So you have to leave the gate open to drive your car in. And, like, as I left the gate open, this one dude was washing his asshole in front of the place that I was running in air in West Hollywood. And, like, and you let him do it, didn't you? I, it's not like I was going to tell him, man. like, stop washing your asshole Good and man. run into the darkness. Motherfucker disappeared. Dude, he spider man into the darkness. Like, this motherfucker ran out, okay? Like, he disappeared. He was just, he, like, gone. But like Green Goblin. Exactly. So like, yeah, it's not that that city's super cool to the homeless, it's just weather and shit. So there's such a homeless population that, like, the city gave them, like, one district just to themselves like if you google map it it's like literally skid row los angeles california and it's it's all just like the cops don't go there like there tent ain't city it's tent city like it's just homeless upon homeless upon homeless that's it like you want to get some crack that's where you go in skid row you want to like you want to go to the black market literally that's where it is it's just like the fucking most unpatrolled area of that entire city and it's kind of cool. Like, I saw a bunch of, like, documentaries on that shit a while ago. Like, just people going through it. Mm -hmm. And, it, again, it's not like they're they're just people that are really down on their luck. Like, that's most mm -hmm. of the story. Mm -hmm. Especially considering it's one of the most expensive cities in the, in, in, the, in the world. Yeah. And so, obviously, living there, not exactly the easiest thing for most people. So, it's like, you kind of go through it. You find some, like, cool, like, people. Like, some cool stories. So, I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to explore it. Because it, it's always weird to me how like los angeles is the one city where like in the same in the same like you know vision you can see like a supercar like supercars mm -hmm. you know yep. like ferraris and then, and, and then that endless suffering and homelessness. yeah like it's it's weird like on the same street you can see like a row of homeless people and like two million dollars worth of vehicles just driving mm -hmm. around like what the yep. fuck it's you know sad. it is it it's really sad. is like and it's not that it isn't a problem over here it's just like when i was in los angeles it was like the biggest problem like when i'm walking by a 7-eleven and i see like a tent compound like a tent mansion it's a little bit it's a little bit of a it's a little bit of like an eye opener you know what i mean like goddamn like what the fuck but uh yeah that was uh that was the one thing that i saw over there that like totally freaked and like creeped me out for a little yeah, bit that's that's almost as scary as like a wholesome streamer today Revealed that they said the n-word 10 years ago. I mean, that's up there. Who revealed that they said the n-word 10 years ago? Uh, well, a lot of people did. <laughs> well, Pokemon. like, well, like who? Uh, no, Pokemon no, wouldn't no. do that. Queen wouldn't say fuck Wait, she, like she, that. She, okay. she did, though. Pokemon would never do that. <laughs> there's no video evidence. You ever, you, ever see, you ever see the clip of Pokemon? Just like, <laughs> no, no, there's not. Uh, no, there's, not. A... there's not. Are you gaslighting this me? Right? Is the, this is the... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sarcastic. You ever see the? You ever see that, the Pokemon sarcasm? You ever see the Pokemon like cocaine clip? Yeah. 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 So funny. yeah. <laughs> what is that, dude? I love that. Dude, you everyone on shat on her, and I was kind of like, "Yo, Pokemon's kind of like based for that, you know?" Like, yeah, it's, I think it's funny, man. Mm -hmm. I think it's freaking funny. I mean, it's she was like, "Am I really the hate for It's not like but. watching Avatar and stream level content, but it's definitely up there. I'd say. Mm -hmm. you know. I love how like when that whole thing happened, people like in the comments were like yo they were just trying to be unironically breaking dmc i'm like okay that's what we're going with now that's the lie we're getting fed but yeah no when i saw pokemon doing this like i'm kind of like fucking up for the people watching tar if you want to like zoom into my like <laughs> my sugar my sugar my coffee sugar lines feel free but like she was like an expert at it. Like when she, she was like, "Am mm -hmm. I doing this right?" I'm like, "Sweetheart, we You've all done this we before." <laughs> I was like, I was like and yeah. she came out on Twitter. She's like, "I've memory." She's like, "I've never done cocaine in my life," and I'm just kind of like, "Okay." 
Sure. How about all her <laughs> friends fucking just exposing her though? They're all just like, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I know why she has to because she's like a big figure and everything. But at the same yeah. time, I'm like, Wholesome. I'm just like, <laughs> she's re- for somebody who's not a coquette, she's really good at fucking lining that shit up for fucking. <laughs> She's like, I don't do cocaine. I just prepare it for all my friends to do, you know? I'm just real nice. <laughs> I'm just she, she's actually really good at drama in general. Like, she's really good at it. Yeah. Um, she, she's very she's, clever. She's smart at yeah. it. Like, she, she knows yeah. how to, like, be in drama. Yeah. And, like, come out, On like, top. winning. The winner. You know? yeah. yeah. I think the problem is it's, like, fucking. So she's, like, the one, you know, woman streamer on the internet. And it's, like, I feel like she's kind of, like, a lightning rod for all the other ones, you know? Like amaranth gets hit but i think amaranth's really fucking smart because like she gets like she knows exactly how to like twirl the audience around in that case when amaranth is on like twitch fucking shaking her asshole and like in swim in hot tubs yeah it's kind of aggravating because you think about like oh maybe she's on easy mode but i'm like what does that speak about for the general audience watching right like if the audience didn't like this content they wouldn't fucking be Jumping on, it wouldn't make her like the most watched woman I mean, streamer. A- Amaranth on the and Pokemon get shit for different reasons. Like Amaranth, it's yeah. people upset that she's playing on easy mode or whatever. Uh, and Pokemon, yeah. it's it's a more personal thing. Like Amaranth, they view yeah. as like uh, so, like some black splotch on all of live streaming. And Pokemon is just like I don't know. People just hone in on her. And I've mm-hmm. never understood her. like she's she's done some yeah, fucking weird. stupid yeah. shit. Like don't yeah. get me wrong. Pokemon's like false DMC eight strike and like mm-hmm. done some insane shit. Yeah, but it's like everybody's fucked up. Every yeah, everyone has made those fuck ups, and she ain't the only streamer that's done that. Like, let's be real. There's been a history of like streamers abusing copyright. Can we copy strike PewDiePie? Some removed. Yeah, Alinity. Yeah, and you're like Alinity, like I just I, Alinity is like that one person. Like I, I'll never tolerate that. I was like this, this fucking this person's an actual dumbass. You know, like fucking can't do it but like pokemon yeah, it was pretty embarrassing pokemon i'm like she ain't so bad like i don't know like she's mm-hmm. done some mistakes but i mean like i put on her content once and i'm like oh she just plays valorant so whatever yeah maybe maybe on her live streams i just comment l and not ratio let's go good guy Oompi. you can't yeah no. that drama though i think, I think like she thinking. actually lost in the long term like i think she lost what? that like recent shit where yeah like okay so the guy gets his channel strike for two weeks the guy, and i'm good. like okay it makes he's banned for good. yeah but like that's in the, the whole thing it's like she she now she i feel like that whole argument fault. like yeah, it's not her fault but like fucking she definitely kept it going more than it had to yeah yeah as like the dust is kind of settled too i i think i agree with that too i think the i'm just uh, saying like public think... perception wise she did nothing during that drama she privated her twitter account to i mean i think yeah. in a way that was a statement to show how badly she was hurt um i think that was the purpose of that i think the the greater example of like just kind of the i suppose i haven't seen it personally myself and i'm not really like i don't really keep a keep an eye on like the way that women are treated on the internet generally speaking but like the overall she was trying to make an example of just how women are treated by people on the internet and how they're just like kind of bullied without I don't really. I genuinely don't know if that's a thing. I mean, I hey, don't just, get me wrong. You know, I'm sure away like, from the keyboard, there's definitely bro. there's definitely a bit of a problem like that. You you even saw it with the G4 yeah. shit lately too, right? Like, so if you guys mm-hmm. have been following, like, first off, I firmly believe that G4 TV has almost always sucked ever since its retirement. Like, ever since its existence, okay, like it's never been a good show, okay, like it's never yeah. been a good channel. Like, anytime fucking Adam Sessler got on reviewing a fucking video game, yo, Adam Sessler could not rev- Adam Sessler cannot review a video game if his fucking family was in prison. Like, some let's taken get Adam shit. Sessler on the podcast. I would love to, but like that, I want to, I want to <laughs> ask him. Like, I want to, I want to talk to him. And be like, how the fuck can you be so bad at reviewing video games? Like, the, <laughs> it's like your grandpa trying to review video games. I can't, and like. Here's the thing. I have nothing against like any- attack. I literally just fucking cannot stand X play or any of that bullshit. Like every time that motherfucker opened his mouth, top five DS games, brothers in arms DS. Motherfucker who's playing a World War II shooter on the goddamn DS? Eat my ass, Adam. Okay. Yeah. What the fuck? Like fucking boomer mode, getting in talking about video games. Like Adam's about to whip out his fucking engage, talking about how amazing Tomb Raider was on it. Like okay, Adam, here's the fucking like. Let's freeze you in carbonite again and like bring you out a thousand years from now truly be like a relic of the old age but 
anyways, that's my take on G4. If you watch G, you know what killed G4? The internet. Okay. When you could find an infinitely better take for free somewhere else. Attack of the show wasn't bad on G4. Attack of the show wasn't like, bad because like Kevin Pereira, Kevin Pereira and, like, and Olivia, Olivia Munn. But that wasn't really yeah. like gaming. That was like internet culture shit. They were kind of mm-hmm. like on we the We should beat. get them on. That'd be good. Oh, they're, That'd be they're cool. Amazing. I like Kevin Pereira a lot. So recently, for those of you, G4 is relaunching the network as G4 TV. So they've been on like Twitch, like YouTube and everything. And so they've been hiring like a lot of YouTubers. Like I know the completionist is on there. I know like, I think black Hokage is on there. Like a bunch of like YouTube personalities are finally on TV because of it. And it's cool. Don't get me wrong. But like one of those was a shoutcaster known as like Froskarum. I, I hope Frosk is what her like short end of her name is gamer name. And she's like a league shoutcaster. So she had like this outburst. I guess she like took three minutes away from like, a broadcast and she's like, let's talk about how you guys shouldn't be jacking off to me because i'm not as hot as like olivia Munn and like all these what? other people and like i un- so like i understand she's like i'm not here to be sexualized on the platform and like when i watched it i was like okay kind of like a weird detour for you to just take away from the broadcast but i get the message you know like i understand it i like mm-hmm. whatever you don't want to be like jacked off to i think that's that's a reasonable request obviously no one's going to disregard it and then Immediately on Twitter, it was filled with like, ah, feminism has infiltrated G4. And I'm like, oh, this is this is where it's going to lead to, you know? Yeah, I, I do think, to be fair, the people who are going to be disregarding her sentiment of not wanting to be jacked off to are the people who are jacking off to her, I would assume, generally speaking. Because yeah. people who are jacking off to fully clothed women on TV are not exactly, uh, you know, stable. I don't know. <laughs> And easy to uh, admit, yeah. just say they need the neural link inside yeah. them. Okay? Yeah, they, they need the neural link. All right, I can relate. I also beat my head on the floor when I was a child, but I don't jack off to fully clothed women yeah, but on that, TV. But that was like the G4 TV thing, and I was like, she became like this fucking lightning rod for like internet hate, and I'm mm-hmm. just like. That's probably, like, the worst way to handle yourself on the internet. Like, she had her outburst, cool, whatever. She never should have, like, engaged with anybody on Twitter. I mean, engaging with an argument on Twitter is like fucking bashing your head into the ground. It does no good for you, okay? Like, it's... You're going to need to be neuralinked, and nobody wants to be fucking neuralinked, all right? That's all I'm going to say. Link me. Yeah, so it's 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 weird to see that. Now, like, G4 is, like... Now it's, like, part of this, like, culture war bandwagon shit, and it's just, like... Let the station die. Like, it never was good. The only time I put on G4, even slightly, was to watch some cops, okay? That's about it. (laughs) All right? Otherwise, I ain't watching it for video game reviews. I ain't watching it for video game period anything. Because everyone on that show was, like, 50 years old when they showed up. I ain't give a fuck about no video games when I was on there. That's what I know. If you want to see some good internet cringe infiltrating television, you got to watch, like, the anti-work subreddit guys interview. That's what you have to watch. <laughs> Dude, Fox News slaughtered that oh motherfucker on national television. What a moron. <laughs> yeah, uh, I saw that. I, I, sure. I remember when I came across, like, that. So I hate covering, like, politics shit related but when i saw that i'm like oh dude you don't just do that socks did you see that the anti-work i don't even know you didn't see the anti-work i don't even know who the g4 people are really i'm I'm just been here i'm like i don't know who any of these people are (laughs) god damn all right well socks let me give you a little education so So you know fox news right uh yeah okay anyway okay he's he's not that far behind there's only like five minutes then then he then he's familiar with fox news (laughs) yeah i know fox Fox news (laughs) So Fox News, they had like, uh, so if you don't know the Reddit anti-work, basically it's this like Reddit board that like has like work reform. So people who are like working in like fucking Target are like, you mm-hmm. know, I work 50 hours a week in retail and I just want to be treated like a human being. Like There's that's a what Reddit for that? The, there was a subreddit. Yeah. So there were like worker reform and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And the problem with that Reddit board is it got hijacked by an actual group of like fucking lazy people. Like, you know, motherfuckers who were like, uh, so I walk my dog for 20 hours a week. Which no one's walking a dock for 20 hours a week. That's not yeah. even a real fucking job. Like, you must you must be running a sweatshop of walking dogs throughout the entire fucking week to make that happen. But, like, they were, they hijacked it. And, like, one of the moderators, so this is the, and they were told by the Reddit board not to go on TV, not to go on any news media. Mm-hmm. So they go on news media to, like, Fox. And you got to understand, Fox 
they don't really like the left leaning shit. Okay, oh, they're gonna yeah, fucking they're, they're gonna rip you apart, right? Yeah. Like, so you knew going on Fox, you're gonna rip you apart. This person had no social cues. So Jesse Waters, one of the fucking hosts, mm-hmm. brings this guy on, and he's like, maybe it seems like all of you people really just like being lazy. Now, <laughs> what they what Jesse has done is mm-hmm. he has planted a fucking claymore in front of you. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> now, if it's one thing I know, you don't walk in front of no claymore anti-work reddit mod fucking hopped in front of that and opened their fucking mouth for the shrapnel because they said Mm. and i i quote this laziness is a virtue Mm. that's what they said and went as soon as jesse heard that shit Mm. bro he was like fucking all right boys let me fucking let me let me get the carving (laughs) knives out so this person gets fucking shit on national television like an absolute like they turned this 1.6 million reddit community that actually was about like worker reform mm-hmm. within three minutes destroyed all credibility the board shuts down because like, they get brigaded like everyone just jumps in and it's like fucking losers dog walkers losers ah funny and uh board gets shut down for like a day or two and it's gone and it's over like the entire like movement gets destroyed and this person's like trying to like vehemently defend their dumbass actions no media coaching no nothing they literally went on national television just to get fucking reamed it was just it's bad i need to watch that that's it's pretty it's, it's pretty th- beautiful i'd say it's a yeah, it's, it's a gorgeous. three minute interview that like no matter what your leaning is you'll always you'll just realize like and there was no way to win this. There was no way to survive. It was it's just like, one sided. It was just like there's no like. It... Oh, it was, dude. It's like you could <laughs> you, you could have you been on the, the anti work mo- side. You know all the memes about like Reddit mods. Like that was that's yeah, what yeah. happened. Okay, that that's was what a, happened that on was national no. television. <laughs> um, it's like it's like it's like I want you to imagine like the stereotypical Discord moderator. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, like going on TV, mm-hmm. like exactly how you would imagine a Reddit mod or a Discord mm-hmm. mod. You know, it's like. It's like if you it's like if you like, had no Discord idea member. what Reddit was. I'm a Discord admin. I moderate this Discord yeah. all day. I yeah. should be, you know, being compensated for this. <laughs> oh, dude, it's not even. The, it's like the one that goes on, and it's like you can make like a halfway joke on like fucking Discord, and it's like, can we stop posting memes on general? Please? In general, please. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> I'm trying to message my kitty. All right, I got better things to do. <laughs> I love how I love how like every time we talk about Discord, like it feels like Discord mods are the new fucking priests. Like it's just so easy, to, like oh, to make... <laughs> they are. Oh yeah, well, the... rampant pedophilia. It is, dude. You go on yeah. Discord. It's like it VR really chat. Is. It's like Discord VR dude, chat. It's, it's like terrifying. That's why I will never give my kid access to like Discord until they're over the age of eighteen. I'm like, you need to be like, you need to have a driver's Same. license, kid. Before you can go on these platforms, because that's like the ultimate fucking like trap card against it. Once you have a driver's license, no one wants to groom and take you away. You're already fucking too old for them. You're gone. But that's what it is, man. It's like that's discord in a nutshell. And I mean, speaking of YouTubers, though, I'll be real. And I I tweeted this like two years ago. Mm -hmm. But like every time like an allegation comes out against the YouTubers, like, oh, they were caught grooming minors and shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're first off. I'm going to be real with you. If you're playing Roblox. For a living. So Sox has a Roblox channel. <laughs> no, I, 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 no, no, no. I was like, no. I joined the dark side I'm like saying, a couple months I'm ago. Saying, <laughs> I'm saying, my, I'm listen, Sox. You have two options, okay? You have two. You have two options as a Roblox YouTuber. You can either have a fucking shitty music career. Yo, oh yeah, I saw the meme. It was like once I hit 10 million subscribers, it was like shitty music career. Or, <laughs> I'm a pedophile. It was like I wonder. Well, you, you, well, that that's why I can't music career wait. Is a, I can't wait to see socks for one on Spotify and I can't <laughs> wait to fucking, I can't wait to like hit you up on the Twitter DMS and lie to you like on the DMS and be like, yo, your music's a fucking this was lit, bro. man, dude, bro. I'm going to blow up. I've been bumping this shit in my car the entire day. Give me a feature on there. <laughs> yeah. Feature. Yeah. If nobody asks you for a feature, that's when you know your music is shit. Like that's when you know, like, oh, they're not asking me for anything. I get it. <laughs> But that's generally the one thing I get from like the Roblox, Minecraft, like Among Us community. It's like, especially when you're making content geared towards kids, mm-hmm. it's always mm-hmm. infiltrated with like those fucking weirdo creators. And you can always sell them, right? Like you can always watch one creator for five minutes. And you that's, that's, you automatically know, like you, yeah, you get that, the vibe from them. That's my like litmus test. You know, like that's how that's like my like, fucking... <laughs> that's like it's like it's like you know in that episode of like better call saul when like they bust the if you haven't watched the show they bust the cartel guy and they're like 10 million dollar bail and he brings a 10 million bucks that's how you know yeah, that they're actually a drug yeah. dealer that's mm-hmm. my five minute check on a fucking like minecraft roblox channel 
if they're role playing too hard for five minutes, you know there's something going on in the fucking Twitter. <laughs> Yo, what is a, the what is a, Roblo- too what is a Roblox YouTuber and Acne have in common? Oh no! <laughs> what? They'll both come on your both, face when you're 15. <laughs> yeah. But it's true. It's like I tweeted this few years ago. I'm like, I wake up every day and there's not like an urge in me to not like have relations with children. You know, like I never fight that urge. I never understood that with YouTube. Like people that kept on getting like, hot and it- shit. Yeah. Yeah, like you know, like it's not like every day I wake up like today when I woke up I was like coughing. I'm like, oh fuck, fuck Corona. I wasn't like trying to fight my hand. I'm like, yeah, I got I got to mess with these kids right now. Yeah, man. <laughs> God, <I> got... <laughs> yeah, like it wasn't like wasn't like no, don't message yeah. the Discord. No, it grosses me out, dude. It grosses me out. It makes me so uncomfortable. It does. Just even like think think about like t- how could someone do that? It just makes me so just. It makes me uh, gag, just grossed it, it, out. It I guess. grosses Disgusted. me out for sure. But the repeat offenders? How could you be a repeat offender? Oh, dude! Like, for me, like the James Charles I don't thing. Understand. Oh, it's how like can you be an EDP? Long. Yeah. What? Yeah. How dude, you he have just a wanted a fucking incident? cupcake. Okay. <laughs> the cupcake incident is terrifying. How could someone actually like? Bro. Dude, his like I remember when he got like captured and like fucking captured. he was just like <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, was they... like quartered like on his street. You've been playing, <laughs> been playing Pokemon He's for the last two days. It's just they yeah. bolo him. Yeah, like like they they capped him on the street and everything and it was just kind of like fucking, "Oh, so what were you here for?" He's like Man, shit! I was here for a cupcake, guys. I swear I wasn't here. And then they're reading out like, "Sir, you sent your fecal matter to this girl." <laughs> and like, when, when I saw that, I'm like, "Dude, I will." Like, dude, I like legit had like a brain and like, like I, I felt like I had a lobotomy when I heard that because like I was playing some Rainbow Six while I was watching this on the side. And mm-hmm. as soon as I heard that he sent a picture of his shit, like in the middle of this round, I just die. Like I just stop. I'm like, "What? Wait, he sent what?" He sent a picture of his, like, actual shit? Like, who does mm-hmm. that? Like, what the fuck? You see James Charles <laughs> furiously writing down notes. It's like, ah, yes. <laughs> oh, I, lo- I love that with James Charles back then, because it's like fucking, it was like, oh, he had, like, one allegation, and then, like, I go, to, I go nap for 10 minutes, and I wake up, oh, shit, 16 people came out? What the fuck? This motherfucker's got, like, a Snapchat on, like, speed dial for this. What the hell? And this guy's the Hugh Hefner of pedophiles. Apparently, allegedly. Listen, allegedly. Oh yeah, yeah. I shouldn't. And, and the funniest <laughs> thing is, it's like when he did Whoops. that. When he did that, it was like, oh guys, I'm gonna be real smart, and I'm gonna ask them from ID from now on. I'm like, oh, oh, you should have done that from the start. Maybe just not fuck your fans. You know what I mean? Or just like, if you're gonna fuck your fans. Make sure that they look over the age of... Th- maybe, maybe they should no, have, they like, some... They are pretty. Yeah, like, they gotta have, like, yeah, maybe some facial look. hair, you know? Like, they, they're well above that. Only oh, meet a girl if she boobs. doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> then no. I, I only, I only have, mustache yet. I only have sex young. with women that have mustaches. That's That way I know I'm fucking good to go. Mm-hmm. That's why, you like... You visit Texas one time. They can't, can't look, go back from the stash. <laughs> If I'm going to fuck my fans, I'm going to make sure they're in a retirement home, okay? That way I know. <laughs> that way I fucking know that they're all over the age of 18. You know, that way they're fucking far hey, on the other end. Better be like, if, if anything, I'll just be like, I got fucking groomed, okay? All right? I got groomed. That was, that was a retirement home person, okay? I'm like at least 40 years younger than that. That's what I would do. All right. Like there would no way like if a, like here's the thing. I've had like weird shit like that in DMs. I think all of us had like, you know, like somebody comes after you, like somebody like messages you really weird. Yeah. And it takes you one second to just say yeah. like this is not okay. Stop it. Goodbye and be done. Yep, right. Like yep, yep. simple words. Throw your phone. Play some fucking, you know, Halo or something. You know, that's mm-hmm. it. But like you come across like that's that's where a chunk of these YouTubers are. Right. They're like, oh, fuck. Maybe I can get away with this. <laughs> and that's where it all fucking, fucking goes disgusting, down. Dude. It is disgusting. And like, I feel like we're in a stage now where like now it's getting to the point where it's like slowly being accepted very slowly. You know, like you come across some people and it's like, okay, maybe they're like mentally immature. I'm like, nah, that's no excuse. That ain't no excuse. I'm just, if you're old enough to pay your taxes, you're old enough to stay far fucking away from that kind of shit. I'm just saying like, no way. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think really mental maturity, you know, really has much of a of a uh, predictor as to whether or not you're going to go to jail for being a pedophile. Well, you should. Well, you would not be allowed on crypto land, my friend, because they said mental maturity <laughs> is age of consent on that fucking side of the world. Mental maturity. 
There's a lot of there's a science to it. Yep. That that was the funniest shit that I you see you remember you see Crypto Land socks? Crypto Land? Yeah, it's a little island. Man, you've really been far away from that shit. You've never seen the island where like all the crypto people like allegedly bought for twelve million? That sounds like gonna... hell. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you know, you know what I heard? Ah, dude, you're so thinking this is like behind the scenes. So I heard the FBI counterterrorism unit actually mm. like psyoped that purchase so they could get all of them over what? there and they were going to test. Yeah, but they were going to test a tactical nuke, you know, mm. like they were just going to like fucking be like, all right, now they're there. Fucking hit the nuke switch. Like Biden was going to be like, get that shit out right there and then fuck it. God damn. And they were just going to, like, blame it on. I something. believe that. Honestly, if Biden did that, I honestly like would probably say I'm like, you know what? <laughs> It's fucked All up. Right. <laughs> it's an interesting tactic. <laughs> like, hey, you know, listen. Listen. I'm not saying what he did was right, but I ain't also complaining about it. <laughs> Twitter's a lot more bearable. I know, God. Dude, Twitter's just hyperjacked with all this goddamn bullshit. I fucking hate it, man. I hate crypto Twitter. I've literally blocked so many fucking Bruh, people now. I'm, or muted I saw, and uh, like, there was, like, a lot of YouTubers that, like, you know... I saw like, you know, building their channels, whatnot. And then it mostly like these Fortnite channels. And then all of a sudden they just switched to like promoters of like NFTs. Like, and it's like and a normal thing. Crypto. Like they're like retweeting all these different like NFTs and stuff yeah. and whatnot. Every time, like it's every time I open my timeline and I see people like saying the NFT, like crypto stuff, I'm like, oh God, I wish Twitter would go back to canceling me already. Come on, <laughs> oh my god, yeah, yeah. you know, dude, I when I saw him. Gwyneth Paltrow again with her fucking oh brain dead A, I was like, end me right now. I'm like, God. Just to be my own version of Gwyneth Paltrow, to be like goop, but way better. Yo, you I'm can going call to it, poop. Name it poop. Oh my god, same. Yeah, I'm gonna name it poop. All right, and I'm gonna have a scented candle that is the scent of my fucking ball sack, guys. The scent of your balls? Yeah, my ball sack. Wow. Do it. You want one? I'll take I, two. I'm gonna <laughs> desperately try to find the frame of your ball sack and now you <laughs> dude, I, me out of I, I have another browser open. I've just been like scrolling through all your videos now. Dude. <laughs> I'm on like the twelfth one yeah. now. <laughs> I'm looking at all. Poor like Tara the... had to edit my ball sack. Hey Tara, I'm, I'm glad you pay her well. I'm bigger. glad you do. I'm really glad you pay her well because if for if someone if I had to if my editor had to look at my balls, you know how much hush money I'd have to fucking pay them to not leave that out. <laughs> it was what like an fuck? accidental nut slip too. How the fuck do you have an accident? Until nut slip. No, what? It's a lot of physical comedy that's in my videos. <laughs> you must have not like. What are, you, are your nuts like fucking gargantuan or something? Is that what you're trying to tell <laughs> me? We're, we're about looking. to find out, man. We're we're almost there. Yep. We're almost down. Yep. <laughs> just like uh, Mr. Beast new feastables, he's gonna have one golden ticket with his uh, chocolate bars. For one of my candles, I'll have a just a straight up fucking Polaroid of my dick and balls. What I think, think, think it's a great idea. I'd, I'd buy. buy. It's the future. I'd buy. <laughs> it's the future. I'd buy. It's like, are you, gonna, are, you, are you gonna put it with like the chocolate bar so as I eat my delicious chocolate? I like open the wrapper yeah, and I'm like, oh. It's just like a hole fucked in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like somebody could just be eating their fucking like plant based. By the way, I'm gonna be real, Mr. Beast. When I was like on his website, he was like hyping up its plant based chocolate. I'm like, the fuck have I been eating the whole goddamn time? Was it like <laughs> yeah, actual yeah, yeah. animals? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like beast, you wait. Have, have I been like fucking committing mass murder by eating candy? Yeah, what the fuck? Cow chocolate? Yeah. What the fuck? Well, is that what he meant? Like it doesn't. The milk doesn't come from a cow. Is I'm that assuming, what he means? Yeah. By? Yeah. So it's like vegan chocolate. Okay, but black chocolate exists. That's just black chocolate. It exists. Dark chocolate. Dark well, if I find out that he's like he went in. And like, Oops. Oops. <laughs> Black. I, I, eat dark chocolate I, I had to every explain day. it better because I, I don't see I don't see color guys. <laughs> Fuck okay. off. No. Colorblind, I guess. Weird thing to bring up. But all right. Yeah, I know. Nobody here is like as <laughs> nobody here has like some gamer word, you know, shit like you, Nox. Jesus. Bro! <laughs> Black I don't chocolate. Know, man. Black. We're gonna a <laughs> year from now. We're gonna rewrite why oh you got canceled. God. We're gonna rewrite exactly why you got canceled. Dude, people that we're gonna go back to this. Oh, shit. Go ahead. It's just funny because some people that have tried to cancel me have had gamer words in their past, and uh, it's been it's been hard being the bigger man. Dude, this is why this is why I just don't understand. If somebody like came at me like, "Wow, Muda says something wrong." Do I take up every fucking thing in their history and I fucking print that shit out and put it on Times fucking Square? Eat my mm -hmm. ass! I don't know. How dare you act morally righteous and fucking do that? I'd fucking pay for the billboard and everything. I'd I'd pay for a mu I'd outbid Spotify to put that shit up there and fucking. Oh yeah, dude. I'd be like, mm -hmm. go age three levels of petty. 
No. Wait, did he do that? Did you he know? billboard himself? No, I wouldn't be surprised though. If you, if he comes on the podcast, you should give him that idea, and I fucking guarantee he'd slap Ryan Kavanaugh up on a billboard in Times Square. That's like actually a good I, idea. I feel, I feel like I kind of want to do that for him and just like see the fallout. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come on our podcast. Here we spent ten grand. Well, I think you might do that with Joe Rogan, given like how fucking shit's gone recently. Do you see like Joe Rogan responded yeah. to the whole? He like, did. Mm-hmm. I didn't see that. You know, not not to Ethan, not to Ethan. Oh. He did it to Neil Young and all those people because, like, yeah, to the anti-vax stuff and like the people calling to get his shit pulled off Spotify. Which, like, I mean, dude, if you go to Joe Rogan for your medical information, maybe yeah, you're not think, like yeah. the smartest tool in the fucking I, I, shit. I genuinely do think his response is pretty good. If, if I don't think it really could have been better because he didn't take any side. He's just like, listen, I just have conversations, and that's all I do. And like, obviously, he does not just only do that obviously yeah. right but like he can pull back to that point and he can claim that and it's like it's hard to hard to fucking argue with it because it's that's what he started off doing you know like his old podcast and shit he literally was just a dumbass pothead who just fucking talked to geniuses wait and dmt what, like the entire yeah yeah dude <laughs> talk to geniuses about this the wackiest shit and he'd always ask the dumbest fucking questions and it genuinely was very entertaining from like 2011 to 2015 it's now it's like all of his shit's become like hella fucking yeah like let's talk about vaccines and shit let's talk about i'm like all right i've had enough of the real world can we talk about some fucking cool stuff yeah tell me about clockwork elves and how deep the average asshole is well i just wanted i just wanted to talk more about aliens every time he brings like alien people on it's like always Mm -hmm. the people full of shit i talked to to this like one guy not this like one doctor Stephen greer i was talking to him once on another podcast full of so much shit he was like yeah, he well because he because he like sells bullshit he sells this like one app he's like everyone in the world can sync up with each other and speak to aliens and distant beings i'm like motherfucker you're just you're just trying to get us to download your goddamn spyware eat my ass Stephen. we're not doing this shit and you criticize him on it he gets like fucking pissed at you like one time we were criticizing him and he's like if you let me finish, then I'll tell you that <laughs> I was like, "Calm down, there, chief." Jesus, looks like we really wasn't he in the, wasn't he in the military. Yeah, but like, so were so was like Dan Bilzerant, right? Yeah, well, no, he 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 failed fucking buds though. That's like that's different. Yeah, but he's still in the and military. He, Nobody takes him seriously though. Yeah, Dan Bilzerian, the fucking yeah. billionaire poker guy. Yeah, the billionaire, his dad, who's like a corporate takeover guy, turned him into that shit. Yeah. yeah. No, I, he happened to he happened to win the exact amount of winnings through poker as his dad fucking laundered. I think we should save pickup artists for next time because we're like ninety minutes into this episode, so I feel like it's probably time to like tie things off. We'll actually wind her to, down. Yeah, we're gonna have to wind down. We can't just be t- telling you guys in the audience how to pick up chicks right now. We're clearly I, not <laughs> Sigma enough for it. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure they have mustaches. I know all about okay? picking up chicks. That's the rule here. <laughs> Always. Retirement homes. That way you never get cancer. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. Never happens. But uh you want to lead us out here, Nux, the way you started us out. Right, hold on. I have to remember thing. your outro. I watch more of your intros than your outros, Muda. Okay. High apologies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone gets bored like thirty seconds. No, in no. Line. <laughs> so, uh everybody, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it. Dislike if you dislike it. We are out. Bye. Bye. Okay, I actually remembered the outro at the end there. We're good.